Hi, I'm Ada Louisa Ng. It's so nice to meet you. I'm happy for this opportunity to tell you a bit about myself and my family. I was born in London, England, on February 29, 1888. I was the youngest child of a family of ten children of Thomas George Ng and Martha Jane Forsbury. In 1907 I came to Canada with my widowed mother, I met Walter James Souter and we fell in love, we were married at Brandon, Manitoba, and then moved to Edmonton, Alberta. While there, our first two children were born, Walter James Jr. on January 22, 1911, and Ada Louise on November 21, 1912. Although he was a baker back in England, my husband delivered coal around Edmonton. While doing this he met Bert Ripley and Jim Garner, who convinced him that Carrot Creek, near Edson was the place to move to. During a rainstorm on June 3, 1914, Walter and I arrived at Carrot Creek by train. The station was then called Otley. Also on the same train were our new neighbors-to-be, Mr. and Mrs. John Lamb. Herb Robinson was there to meet them with a team of horses and a double box on the wagon as the lambs had brought their furniture. The men loaded the furniture, piled the women and children on top and started the journey to their homestead. Walter had been there earlier and had a three-room log house ready for us. At that time the wild rabbits were very abundant and people were eating them for meat. Walter cleared some land for the homestead and then on September 1, 1914, he decided to get a job on the Canadian National Railway. Walter worked as a section man Monday through Saturday and had only Sunday off each week. He earned $2 a day. On December 3, 1914, I made history at Carrot Creek. I gave birth to the first set of twins born there. I named them Violet and Robert, Bob. Dr. Scott was in attendance and Mrs. Lamb was the midwife. On March 16, 1917 Edward, Teddy, was born, followed by Herbert on September 30, 1919, then on July 24, 1921, Charles. Mrs. Lamb died in January 1923 so when I gave birth to May on September 9, 1923, Mrs. Nordine was the midwife. On January 30, 1927, I delivered another set of twins, whom I named Ethel and Gordon. Six months later our family moved into a two-story, four-bedroom house Walter had built. Dr. Scott died in 1928 so when I had my last child, Donald, on June 21, 1929, a nurse from Piers was in attendance. On February 3, 1931, disaster struck. About five in the evening our home burned to the ground. Until we could rebuild, we lived in an old log house at Munson's. A few months later Walter built another five-room log house for the family. In 1932 my mother came to live with us. She was 85 years old at the time. She was a very happy and active person who got along well with her teenage grandchildren and other young people of the district. She liked working with her hands and made lots of rugs and quilts. She also loved to listen to her favorite song, Sidewalks of New York on the old wind-up gramophone. In 1933 the neighbors gave her a surprise birthday party at our home. This was a rare treat. At the age of 94, Mum moved to the St. Joseph Hospital in Edmonton where she stayed until her death in her 100th year. When World War II started, three of my sons, Teddy, Herbert, and Charles, joined the army. I am grateful that all three returned home safely. Due to ill health, I moved to Edson in 1948. After working 39 years on the railroad, my husband retired in 1943. Walter lived on the farm until his death from pneumonia in 1952. Thank you for listening to my life story.